So I've been watching the Baldwins lately, and they've got all these people just obsessing over the uh, the porn problem on live video. So now I guess you're asking, Dave, do you see it as a problem? Well, kinda, but I see it as your problem. And to that I say, uh, no, I don't, because I'm a big boy. And really, live video has been a good sight. Um, other than the sometimes long upload times. I mean, really. I mean, that's really been the only problem that, that the site's had. Um, the way I look at it is, if you don't want to see, uh, you know, porn or, you know, deal with perverts, you know, don't go into the uh, live shows. Um, if you don't want to see the... the uh, soft porn video well turn your uh, what is it the family filter turn that on now I know that they, they will still get through like if you watch uh, most discussed videos but I mean really aren't we all adults here you see the world we live in is got porn and smut and perversion in it all the time and you've got to put your porn, smut, and perversion filters on and just deal with it and not get so upset about it. Or it will ruin your life. I mean, really, what are you going to do if you can't handle this in real life? You going to go to another site? Now, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge um, a person here on my video that I've never really cared for much um, because she has always been nothing but uh, an instigator a shit stir and I've noticed that here lately she's been taking upon herself to be the live video policeman going into the live rooms and uh, then making videos the next day and name dropping people that uh, she finds in these shows. Now, don't get me wrong. I I'm not for um, <clears throat> people that hang out and, and really are perverts, um, pedophiles. I'm not I'm not for them. I'm not taking their side. But there are reasons um, that someone could be in a room such as that and uh, you know completely innocent when I first came on live video and uh, the live rooms first opened up you know I tested them I wanted to you know see if I could find some of the motorcycle gang um, you know in the live rooms talk to some people and the way I did it was I went into the most popular rooms cause, because obviously there's a bigger chance of them being in there and <clears throat> not really looking at what the room was about or caring. Uh, and I know there's times that I had went in there and, you know, got called away for whatever. Or been in there talking to somebody and not really paid attention to the room itself. Just basically, you know, was talking to one person through PMs or whatever. So, you know, that's just one example of a way someone could be in a room like that um, say they were in the room earlier and they got called away and they were doing something with their kids which just happened to me and then you know you're in there for an hour or so and later in the day you know something happens you know one of the girls starts doing something that's not quite appropriate now you look like a pervert so how about um, how about we let the professionals take care of things like that um, and not name drop people when you don't have all the answers you don't have all the proof that they're actually in there doing anything wrong um, I don't know you're really you're really doing something really risky there because I know if my name was dropped and there was no proof um, you know that I was doing anything 
attorneys would be contacted. I don't mean that for that to be a threat, but, you know, just be careful when you do shit like that. And so lastly, to the people that are, you know, bitching and moaning and have got a problem, a huge problem with the site and, uh, you know, some of the content that's allowed on it, you know, it's okay not to like that stuff. Um, I don't know, but the w way I look at it is, if I don't like it, then I will leave. This site is this site is really good for um, people who like to, uh, you know, misery loves company type thing. Um, they've got a problem with this site, so they they keep coming back and coming back and coming back and and making videos trying to prompt people to leave themselves. You know, if you don't like the site, just leave. It's as simple as that. So to end this video, I'll just say this. Wear your big boy pants when you're going to visit, you know, a video sharing site. And when your kids are on here, you know, look, you cannot save the whole world. If somebody's doing something, you know, they're going to go to another site and do it, or they're going to, they're going to get in trouble wherever. You know, you you can't say, I, I really, I doubt the uh, authenticity of some people's um, actions on the site to help. Um, you know, you can't save the world if, if, if some kids are in here you know, doing things that, that are uh, not appropriate. Um, you know, the best thing you can do is just make sure your kids are schooled in this, are smart enough to know what to stay away from and who to stay away from. Uh, but yeah, I would just say the, big, the best thing is, you know, buy some big boy pants and wear them. Get over it, will ya?